I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a uh, laptop this one is an Acer Aspire E15 or also known as an E5-551-T7V0 that's the exact model for this one and in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can upgrade the RAM on this one this one they do include a 12 gig DDR3 low voltage that's the L stand for a low voltage is a sodium uh, low voltage RAMs they, this laptop can go up to 32 gig RAM, uh, you can do it, but finding a, a DIMM with a 16 gig on DDR3 is really expensive, so I'd rather you guys go with two 8 gigs, so at least you get a 16 gig, which is more than enough for gaming, for any other work. So let's open it up and let's get into it and show you guys how to do that. First thing first, you want to power it off completely, and we're going to start removing the, DVD, the battery. To remove the battery, all you need to do is to pull this trigger in there towards the left side. So grab a screwdriver and put it there and just slide it and then slide the battery backward. Next, you will need a screwdriver set. I'll recommend you guys to grab an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. We're going to use a Phillips number one. These bits are made out of S2 class steel, so that means they're really tough in steel. All right, now we're going to start. Also, you will need an opening tool. You can grab the Pro set for this screwdriver set that will include the, you, all the tools you need. I'll leave the link in my video description. Or if you want to go to a chip site, get a, a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is really suitable to opening covers and boxes and everything else, cell phones. All right, with these tools, we're going to start opening the bottom case. You're going to start removing all the screws at the bottom cover, everything you see in the middle, on the sides, on the corners, go ahead and remove all of them. All the screws should be the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Let me see, I'm missing a screw right over there, so go ahead and remove all of them. Also, I realized that there is only 1% of the, uh, my viewers are subscribed to my channel. If you guys find my content useful and help you guys out, if you want to support the channel, you can subscribe and click like on my videos i really appreciate it and it will be a great support i was missing one or two screws but the base are broken so yeah so next what we want to do we want to remove the dvd drive by sliding it towards the outside and put that one to one side now we're gonna open up the bottom cover by sticking the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover just like that and we're just gonna twist it and go all around in the front and uh, all the way to the back corners left and right side and once you grab it it should come out pretty easy to the back corner All right, now this one, this model, the palm rest comes out, so you have to lift up the palm rest upward. So let me see if I didn't miss a screw right on this side, no. So loosen it up and just peel off the side in here. And you wanna be careful with the ribbon cables underneath. These are flex cables right here. You wanna be careful with this one. You open it up a little bit, not all the way back. And now you want to open up this jack here just by pulling it upward and slide out the flex cable for trackpad. Same thing for an off switch right here. You want to, from the back side here, lift it up 90 degrees and pull out the flex cable. For the keyboard, you want to slide the black covers on the sides towards the screen about a mil half a millimeter. And the flex cable will come up. Let me zoom in on this one so you guys can see, or maybe you can see it from there. So pretty much I'm pushing these um, gray covers here, just half a millimeter towards the back side, and the flex cable from the back it will slide out. So there's your palm rest right here. You can put this to one side, 
and the rams are not even accessible from here it's on the other side of the motherboard to get to the ram we need to still remove the motherboard flip it over first we're going to remove the hard drive but before that let's go ahead and unplug the bridge cable here lift up the lock slide the cable backward bring it underneath here remove the caddy with two screws that is on top okay now you're going to slide the caddy toward the right side and lift up the hard drive there's a one chunky hard drive it's a high profile and it is missing one screw on one side all right with that removed we're going to remove the flex cable for this lcd by putting your fingernails right by the jack and sliding it towards the screen just like that remove the jack out of the way these cables are supposed to run through here I don't know who opened it up and who tried to save it, but they did not run the cable properly. They just left it the way they wanted. And that's not how you're supposed to do it. That's why you get pinched to cables and that's bad. So you want to run the cables always nice and neat. So this is not some sort of PC building. All right, once we remove the flex cable for the LCD, we are going to remove the fan by removing a few screws. One screw right there and one screw on top of the fan. Pick up the fan and lift it up straight, put it to one side. The connector is right here, so it is connected. By pulling this jack backward, I don't know why they have tape over here. So pulling these cables or pull the jack with your fingernails on the side, just pull it backward and clean up the fan if you wish. We need to remove the Wi-Fi board by removing one screw. This is a Phillips double zero. All right, just remove the Wi-Fi cable, leave it right there. Now we're gonna remove the motherboard by removing one screw right here by the battery connector one right here they have a white arrow indicating where the screw goes and i don't see any other screws we're gonna remove the speaker cable just by sliding the connector back it's the same thing as a fan i'm gonna use the tweezers put it right beside the jack Try to pull in the cables slowly, gently. And there we go. Once you remove all those, lift it up. And bring it toward this side. So you can release all the I.O. side and lift it up. You can disconnect the power jack right there and there's your motherboard right here. there's your two rams so they could have easily left a tiny cover here for you to open it from the other side to access the ram but no they had to make your life miserable so this one actually has an 8 gig and 8 gig 8 gig and 4 gig i believe this one is a 4 gig ram so let's see yep it is a 4 gig so let's say if you want to remove the ram it's really easy all you need to do is to pull these two triggers away from each other, just like that. And then pull out the, uh, slide the RAM backward. And then to put the RAM in, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the DIMM. Bring it in 45 degree angle and then slide it towards the motherboard. Same thing with this one. Pull it out away and slide out in 45 degree angle and push it towards the motherboard. And that's how you upgrade the RAM. Now, when you upgrade the RAM and you turn on and there's no screen, turn it off, swipe the RAM places, and then turn it on, wait 5 to 10 seconds for the BIOS to do a RAM check. Once you got the RAM installed, now we're going to slide in the hard, the motherboard. 
the IO side down first or before that go ahead and in this position connect the power jack cable and now you can bring it down put the VGA audio jack in there make sure the cables are not on the way and just nicely sit it down gently all the way down towards the base put the Wi-Fi board in there put the screw for the Wi-Fi board we want to grab the fan sit down the fan in there put the connector for the fan put the two screws for the fan connect the flex cable for the LCD slide it evenly make sure you have to go even in there just pinch it in there put the speaker cable straight in run the cable for wi-fi make sure it's running in the tray right there and not outside the tray honestly some people try to fix this stuff but they just mess it up even more than what it is All right, now we're gonna grab the hard drive. We're gonna slide it in, put it in offset position first. And then you wanna slide it towards the motherboard so you make sure the contact. Now you wanna put the two screws for the hard drive and also put the two screws for the motherboard. The motherboard screw is one beside the hard drive right there and the other one is right by the battery connector so we're going to connect the cable flex cable for the bridge for the usb port right here we're going to bring it over and we're going to slide it right in the connector and we're going to lock it down once we have this one here we're going to double check everything all the screws we're going to grab the palm rest i would recommend you to put it in an offset position here so you get or also the other way around, bring it more towards the right side. You get these tiny clips broken from the corners here. It is normal that the clips in the break because the plastic over time it gets really dry, dried up. So, so what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna open up the lock for the keyboard. We're gonna grab the flex cable and somehow we're gonna align it in there. I'll put it in a position, normal position. Let's see if I can do it with you guys seeing it. I'm gonna slide it from the back of the jack right toward the inside of the jack with one finger right there. And with the other finger, I'm just gonna, while I'm holding it, I'm gonna try to close, pull up, pull the hinges back towards myself. And this one is bad because the, I don't know if you guys can see, the, the white cable is like all, not a straight in, so I'm gonna open up the lock again. And we're gonna try to put it in again straight. Let's try it again. I don't like this that they don't give me enough room to play here. I'm gonna actually put it a little more toward this side so I get more space for the cable. And I have the camera right in front of my face, so it doesn't make life easy. So there we go. It's all the way in. And there we go. And the flex cable look is straight in. It's all straight. All right, so now we're gonna lift up the lock for the power on switch. And uh, we're gonna slide it from the back end in and lock it down. Same thing for the trackpad. Open up the lock, slide it right underneath and lock it down. Now, next last thing is to just pinch top and the bottom cover together. Just pinch it, push the back in, the sides in, all, and close the lid and open it up and put the bottom screws right all, all over and slide down the 
tray for the DVD tray. Alright, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own upgrade for the RAM for your Acer laptop. If it did, you can click that like button. I really appreciate it. Think about subscribing. It will be a really big motivation. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm just going to finish up putting up the bottom screws.